got Mr. Colin Burns here. He's yeah. one of our guys. This is the first time he's been uh, on the YouTube channel. We're going to talk to you about FERT. So, Burns came to us from a FERT company. Um, we want to do our own little FERT thing as part of our supply business. It basically supplements our revenue, gives us a constant revenue stream. We didn't go and buy a whole FERT truck, so we just MVP'd, so minimal viable product, a really small get it done type of rig, and this type of rig will let us do 200 homes a month? Two to three. Two to 300 homes a month. All right, so what we did is we went out, we had a uh, we had this trailer left over from our lawn days. Um, I bought this trailer in 2012 for 1500 bucks. It's a big Tex, had very, very little issues with the smaller one, had a ton of issues with the goosenecks, but, um, and we bought this Mariana thing, right? Yeah. And uh, it's a 200 gallon tank? 200 gallons. Make sure you get them there. 200 so. gallon tank with a Honda motor, good motor. Uh, the only problems that we really had was a reel. Um, chain always kept popping off, no roller on it, so we had to build our own roller for it and it uh, still doesn't work quite right. So we're gonna buy a, a new reel, aluminum reel. That's what they should have went in the first place with aluminum. But um, overall, still a decent working piece of equipment. It's not bad, I mean we bought this thing for 3500 so total we're at like five grand on this trailer. Um, we did fab up some of our backpack racks here. We should probably paint this in the slow season, like yeah. in January. Um, probably this trailer's probably due to be done, like whole, you know, painted up. But um, we had our, our uh, welder, our redneck welder, just hitting us up on uh, on these racks. I think we threw these old truck toolboxes on it. Um, we've got our furt elevated off of the uh, off the deck. Um, but for the most part, we, this has been a pretty good setup, and it's, it's gotten us into the furt game. And so um, down here, uh, fertilization side of the business is almost twice as profitable as the lawn and maintenance side of it. Um, also gives us a lot of flexibilities because this is jet truck number three. And uh, jet truck number three can go out and make money doing furt a couple days or weeks a month, and then it can also go and do our backup supply work. Um, and we've had downtime, so just go over that. So just kind of take it from the from the beginning and just say like, all right, this is our Mariana. Okay. All right. Yep. This right here is our Mariyama, 200 gallon tank, uh, roughly 200 feet of hose, nice Honda motor. The pump. Uh, I wouldn't go with that pump. No. <laughs> I fucked up. Yeah. Those no, pumps no, no. suck. These Those, pumps suck. Yeah, all right, that's good. Suck. No, it's good to know. Like, I just what, don't yeah. know the other. Uh, there's piston pumps, but those are old school. And but those are actually like the best ones. But it's kind of hard to tell people that, like I prefer a piston pump because you can't fucking find them anywhere. You can't find them. So anywhere. I don't really know what and, kind of pump to say. In background story, Mariana was like it was tough for us to find this skid in general. Like we went to John Deere Landscapes, sucks. They had a Lesco skid thing. It was tough to get. It was like six grand. We found this for 3500 um, So piston pump, if you can get a piston pump. If you can get a piston pump. Okay, what is this pump called? It's like a, uh, get a, hook. a ceramical or, see, I don't know the proper word. Something that we can't pronounce. That. All right, I understand. I understand, but you got your gauges here. We did replace some of these gauges, I yeah, think. Yeah, that's saw, like the third one I replaced. Okay, I've seen a few bills come in on this trailer. Yeah. I see bills every freaking month come in for this trailer all the time. There's credit card transactions swiping for this thing. And we've also had a ton of issues with this reel, right? I see, I see, uh, I see this. Take the chain off. So we're basically pulling this in, yep. 300 feet of hose. Yeah. Is this the hose that came with it, or do we? Yep. Okay. Stock hose. Okay. We we bought the gun though. We bought the gun. Okay. So we got some sort of like I think that was like expensive. I saw the bill for that come yeah, through. Yeah. Another good way to say this is like an up north rig. Okay. This is not like a good Florida rig. Um, small skinny hose. Normally you want like the three quarter. Okay. Uh, I think this is half or three eighths or something like that. You want the thicker hose, just harder for it to get caught underneath the tires of a car, Understood. around a tree or wherever. But um, so, so, but I mean, it's done us. I mean, we made money with it. Gets the job done. We have made money with it, and it's something that we can also just take our skid loader, put it in the back of a flatbed, or the back of any truck. Um, we definitely like. I think for the second one, we'll do it a little differently. But a spray rig, uh, being a spray truck, you've got the cost of a truck and it's only dedicated to spray. And if you're just starting out and you're doing multiple things, doing landscaping, towing trailers, just that, you can't really afford just to have a spray rig sitting on top of your truck all day. Right. Um, 
So, I mean, for the most part, it's been good, and we got into the FERT game for, like, under six grand. Yep. Which is, like, pretty nice. Pretty I mean, cheap. so Meet that back in the Definitely a solid up north rig, especially if you're going to be using it a few months out of the year in the summertime. Yeah. Freaking solid. Down here, we fertilize or spray every month. We're doing something. Pesticide, it's just, herbicide. It's not built for that. Yeah. It's not built for that. Cool. Yeah, not built for that. So, a couple improvements for the Mariana, but really there's no one in this game. So, building these, uh, building these skid, I don't know what the hell you call them. I don't even know either. Skid sprayer rigs? Yeah. Skid sprayer rigs. I mean, there's a lot of room for improvement here, but you can certainly fabricate your own uh, tanks. These are called totes. We use them in biodiesel. Um, you get a lot of these things um, for free. You can find them on Craigslist, normally like 100 bucks. Um, go ahead through your pump. It looks like these guys have kind of already started the process, so they've got their hoses in place, but I don't think they've gotten this rig done. I think this rig is just kind of a trash rig right now. But this is a perfect example of how you can build out a uh, really, really simple FERT rig. Um, you could probably you know, get into it just for a couple thousand dollars um, by the time you're done. Even if you had a bunch of old, you know, you're really handy, a bunch of old parts, um, you could put it together.